Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, this is going to be something different. I'm right now not in my uh, home. <laughs> I'm visiting uh, my real home, I guess, uh, where I'm from. I'm, I'm in New York. I'm at my dad's place. And um, I have a lot of my old comics stored here. So uh, I've been throughout the week just kind of going through some of my old boxes of comics and uh, instead of taking a bunch home with me I thought I would kind of take screenshots and record a few and then I thought well maybe I'd make a little flip through video um, for the channel as well so um, I don't know if I'm going to wind up posting this or not we'll see how this comes out it's a little bit different lighting than usual and there's going to be different sort of sounds in the background possibly as well but um, this is a random green arrow issue number 106 but um this artist is just amazing i was flipping through it the other night i remember this issue i don't think i appreciated the art as much when i was a kid but um this guy's name is um i think it's rondolfo dimaggio or uh rodolfo dimaggio um from time to time i'll look up his stuff online i think um he used to do comics in the 90s and perhaps some of the 2000s and then it seems like um since then he's just been doing a lot of like storyboard work and work for um movies and television but flipping through this issue again a random green arrow issue from what does that say 96 so this is a really long time ago i actually remember um when i got this my brother went to the comic book store my older brother and um, I think I or my mom, someone asked him, just bring a comic home for me. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but <clears throat> that's what was asked, and he did. And this is the random comic that he picked, which is um, it's pretty cool. Anyway, flipping through it, I just thought these pages were incredible. The figure work is really just beautiful. Um, it's above and beyond what I think just your average kind of superhero comic um, either from this era or any other era was really kind of providing I mean look at every single panel is just so beautifully drawn um, I don't know much about this guy like I said I think he's Italian he might be I mean that sounds like an Italian name to me um, and I'm not sure if he's like American or not but it has a vibe to it that that almost seems European to me um, just the choice of angles uh the way he draws the figures look at this like look at that like that's for a monthly comic i'd say that that's not like something that most artists would venture to draw like that angle it's just really like i said uh, i'm um, impressed so much by the figure work um the execution as well i don't know if he was inking his own stuff as well no he wasn't uh, penciler, the inker was, sorry, I'm trying to read this and hold the camera, Robert uh, Campanella. So a lot of, a lot of Italians on this one. And then Darren Vincenzo. So this is a, this is just a real Italian uh, creative team right here. But um, for a monthly comic, once again, like look at a shot like that. That's just beautiful. If you put this guy's name into uh, Google or Pinterest, um, some really amazing stuff will come up. Some of the production stuff, like I said, that he's done for movies and television. Uh, I know he has a website too. It looks like it hasn't been updated in a really long time, but it's got a lot of his stuff over there. Great angles, great execution, great page layouts. Um, really, really clear storytelling and action. That's such a great shot. So anyway, this is um, a video, like I said, that uh, I'm thinking about putting on the channel, but really even more so than anything, it's just kind of for me to look at <laughs> this stuff. So I don't w wind up just taking all my comics back with me because I don't want to do that. I don't want to clutter things, but um, it's nice to look at these from time to time. Such great stuff. Look at that. Feel free to screenshot any of this stuff. Look at that. Such a great panel, man. This feels to me like um, the quality of what we would call now like just like a graphic novel. You know, these these illustrations feel like 
they're part of something that someone is spending like a year on or, or more rather than just like a, you know, a monthly DC comic from the 90s. This kind of puts it in time right here. Superman, uh, sorry, Superboy, the Tom Grummet. Superboy, I used to collect these too. I think it's in one of the boxes here as well. Um, there's a few comics that I pulled out, awesome shot, that are um, in the same vein like this. Uh, different artists, but I might flip through uh, some more of them. So maybe there'll be a few videos like this where we're just sort of looking at random issues of comics completely out of context, but they just have very exceptional, perhaps underrated art. I mean, just this page alone is, is just wonderful. So good. And if this is 96, you know, there's no like sketch up where he's, you know, doing this digitally and tracing things. This is probably just uh, old school reference taken from magazines and, you know, collecting different like uh, clippings and stuff like that. Look at the movement on that. It really feels like they're falling. So fantastic. I got a weird glare coming from the overhead light over here. Like I said, this is not my normal um, setup, but I'm trying to do my best to capture. Hopefully you can get the, the full full vibe of this comic and this is the last page is Elvis shows up <laughs> at the end I didn't even wind up reading this um, although I will make note that the lettering is awesome as well going through uh, comics from this era is something because it just feels like whether the storyline was great or not or the comic was noteworthy or not there was a certain amount of like I don't know care that went into just like the opening logos and the the, the lettering, um, where they would put the indicia and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. Feels like if you were to open up your random DC monthly of today, it, you might not get uh, this same kind of I guess technique, artistry, whatever you want to call it. Or maybe I'm just being an old man. I don't know. Thought I would share this with you. Um, let me get out of here before the sirens get a little too loud. <laughs> and uh, I might be back with some more. Maybe I'll make a few more of these type of videos while I'm here just to uh, document some of these really cool comics. So this is a longer one uh, than I guess some of the shorts that I've been posting. But hope you, hopefully you dig it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.